Steve Newport's Alzheimer's disease has slowed considerably. Some of his symptoms even reversed, thanks to an unlikely treatment prescribed by his wife, Dr. Mary Newport, a physician who runs a neonatology ward at a Tampa, Florida hospital. She became determined to help her husband after he failed the so-called Alzheimer's clock test. He drew a few little circles and uh, several numbers just in a very random pattern, didn't really look anything like a clock. And the doctor pulled me aside and she said, you know, he's actually on the verge of severe Alzheimer's at this point. He's uh, beyond moderate. So um, that was very, very devastating news. Dr. Newport began learning everything she could about her husband's disease. It appears to be a type of diabetes of the brain. Um, and it's a process that starts happening uh, at least 10 or 20 years before you start having symptoms. And it's very similar to type 1 or type 2 diabetes in that you develop um, a problem with insulin. In this case, insulin problems prevent brain cells from accepting glucose, their primary fuel. Without it, the cells eventually die. But there is an alternative fuel, ketones, which the cells easily accept. Ketones are metabolized in the liver after you eat medium-chain triglycerides, which are found in coconut oil. So Dr. Newport added coconut oil to Steve's diet. Just two weeks later, he took the clock test again and, as you can see, demonstrated stunning improvement. I thought at the time, was it just good luck? Was it a lot of prayer? Was it the coconut oil? And I thought, well, we're going to keep the coconut oil going. Then three weeks later, he took the clock test a third time and continued to get better. And it wasn't just intellectually. He also improved emotionally and physically. He was not able to run. He was able to run again. He couldn't read for about a year and a half. But after somewhere around two or three months, he was able to read. Instead of being very sluggish, not talking very much in the morning, he would come out you know, with energy and talkative and joking, and he could find his water and his utensils. Dr. Newport documented Steve's success in a book called Alzheimer's Disease, What If There Was a Cure? She received this stack of thank you letters from other people whose loved one's Alzheimer's was helped after they followed Steve's diet. And while coconut oil is encouraging, there's actually something much more powerful. A team of biochemists led by Professor Kieran Clark at England's Oxford University have developed a ketone ester that packs a punch ten times greater than coconut oil. It reaches quite considerably higher levels and, and you can get whatever levels you want depending on how much you drink. The problem is they need millions of dollars to mass produce it. Very expensive and so we can't make very much of it ourselves. And what we would like is funding so that we could actually scale up and, and make it. But of course, there's no real profit in manufacturing stuff like that. So until a high-potency ketone ester is available to the general public, coconut oil is still a good ketone source. Just make sure it's pure, non-hydrogenated. Avoid any hydrogenated oil, which is the same thing as dangerous trans fat. Many people avoid coconut oil because they think it's bad for them, but it's actually very healthy. Dr. Beverly Teeter is a researcher at the University of Maryland who specializes in dietary fats. She says years ago, coconut oil was criticized for raising cholesterol. But scientists have since learned there are two kinds of cholesterol, LDL, the bad kind, and HDL, which is very good for you and is the kind coconut oil raises. So they put out the message that it increased serum cholesterol, but the truth of the matter was it was helping the profile of the serum cholesterol. That never has been corrected in the public press, and um, I think that's the reason people have misconceptions about it. So not only does coconut oil improve your cholesterol levels, Dr. Teeter says the way it helps the brains of some Alzheimer's patients can be extended to people with Parkinson's disease, ALS, epilepsy, dementia, even schizophrenia and autism. 
And one more thing, coconut oil is a natural antibiotic that also helps kill viruses like HIV and herpes viruses. But the coconut oil tends to keep the bacteria down so that if you're assaulted with the virus, your immune system can concentrate on the virus. It doesn't have to concentrate on 27 other bacteria that you may have been exposed to that day. So consider coconut oil to improve your overall health and perhaps even go so far as to stave off life-threatening diseases. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lori Johnson, CBN News.